Alright guys, welcome back. This is Central Florida Prepper. Uh, today, we're going to be discussing our uh, get-home bag. We keep it in the car, car bag. Uh, I'm sure it's not the top end. It was built on a budget. Um, all the equipment in it, well most equipment has been tested out. Of course, the gas mask, thankfully, never needed to test out. Uh, we've done the suction test and things like that for it. Um, so, yeah, I did promise we're going to work on a video for that. Later date, I'll do the our bug out bag. At least my bug out bag, uh, which is different than my wife's. My bug out bag has a lot more weight in it. Um, well, I used to be able to carry more weight than my wife. I don't know right now, but so let's get started on this and hope you find it informative. Okay guys, this is our car bag. This is what we carry in the vehicle at all times. Today's Sunday, so I was able to sneak it out. Um, I'll be back in tonight before my wife uses the vehicle to go to work in the morning all right now this bag is a Jan Sport I paid ten bucks for this bag I've had this bag for three years now since uh, I think it was November 2016 when I got this and it's held up uh, I use carabiners and stuff on the zippers just just because it's easier to pull open all right so let's go and open this thing up okay got everything unpacked this is the contents of our go bag I mean I'm sorry our get home bag so I sit on the ground here now, we do have paper towels. I'm probably going to go ahead and change uh, and add just regular toilet paper too. So that's just, I don't know how many is in there. But I got it zip locked up. Keep it safe from moisture, of course. Got the food bars. And I've got a couple of ramens. I want to replace some of the things in my bag and just go with these just for the get home bags that way I can get rid of the uh, stove and cookware and things like that that I do have in the pack um, so this here you don't heat up you just break, break it off and chew it they're not bad I've actually eaten these we bought these in the past before and of course like everything you want to test things out those are actually not bad. And of course we got some plastic silverware. That might be KFC, I'm not really sure. Uh, small first aid kit. Um, this isn't... I mean the bag, of course, may have originally contained something, but I don't use the normal first aid kits. If I get hold of a bag, I dissect it and put my own things in there I think everyone should because most of these kits that you buy at the store has a crap load of band-aids maybe some type of Tylenol and that's about it so build your own kits that's the cheap ponchos disposables but having to walk several miles in the rain sucks so you know those things were like a dollar I think 75 cents something like that you know, they work. Like I said, this is just to get us home. This is a uh, multi-tool. Now this is the great neck, so it is not a Leatherman. I wish I had to re repair the uh, the belt loop on this one, but it still works. So it goes in the bag. Tarp. Never know, might need it. 20 ounce Mountain Dew bottle. Why the hell do I have a Mountain Dew bottle? 
Well, because it works great with my Sawyer Mini. All right, now we do carry water in our bag. Now, some of you already know what this is. So we carry water. I flush this. I flush these waters up once a week, but it's just vodka bottle that is spray painted on the outside. Uh, so yeah, we keep four of these in the bags at all time. Now the reason why we have the 20 ounce because the Sawyer Mini will not screw onto uh, the top of vodka bottles, so we just. You know, these are clean, we can drink straight out of that, but if we have to collect water, it's just easier to use a Sawyer Mini on that. Cookware. Now, this is a Walmart deal, you know, it's got a little pot in it too. Uh, I forget how much I paid for it, not much. I've had it for several years now. Micro burner stove, you've actually seen me show this before. We only keep one container of fuel. Um, it does get hot here, so I don't want a bunch of fuel popping off of my car. And you have seen the gas mask that we just recently got in. So they go in there, knock off an algae bottle. I filled this up this morning and uh, put some cold water in it because it's pretty hot today. I'm actually going to set that over here because I'm currently using it. And you see me do a review on this. My K bar is in my bug out bag, so I didn't need another knife. So, I mean, we got the machete, but um, I wanted another knife in the bag. Flashlights. Now, oh, these are Harbor Freight jobs. I do need to get more better quality lights for our bug out bags, actual flashlights uh, we have not done that yet, it is on the list now we do carry three means of fire well, hell I can't get it open now uh, not one handed, this has my mashes there are, um, I sealed them with uh, candle wax but they're in here Magnesium and lighter, and we also have just little tea light candles. You know, it is something that burns, and for extra combustion, this is toilet paper saturated with Vaseline. It doesn't look like there's a lot in there, but there is, and this stuff works pretty freaking good. Uh, I've got a double bag of Ziploc because when it gets hot, that Vaseline kind of goes every damn where. Uh, I'm going to fix and light up one of these and show you. These actually spark off very nicely. Uh, I like using this better than char cloth. You know, it's easy to make, works really well. So, yeah, that is what's in our get home bag. Now, I recommend others to put a firearm and their get home bag um, just a wise decision to do so but yeah that's it okay so we've got our paper towel with uh, Vaseline I'm just gonna touch it off with the lighter here So you see, it doesn't burn extremely fast because of the Vaseline. And I really like this better than carrying fuel in our get home bag. Only because it gets so hot here in Florida that uh, I don't want the tanks getting compromised from the heat sitting in the trunk. And that was 
one sheet. Oh, I'm sorry, I said paper towel. That's actually one sheet of toilet paper, just one little square that has been treated with the Vaseline. So, yeah. Only bad news is that it does produce black smoke from the petroleum. But it burns really well. I mean, that's one sheet of toilet paper still burning. One square. Okay? That's pretty freaking awesome. Alright, guys. Hope you uh, liked the video there. Alright, guys. Like I said, it wasn't the top end. Uh, car bag okay I know that it's gonna work just fine for the wife and I um, hopefully when things go bad we are actually together now like I said before my wife went back to work uh, part of being a prepper we even have plans for that you know if I'm here at the house while she's at work We've got a rendezvous point. Um, some of the areas that she would have to travel on foot to get back to get back home are not very safe, I should say, especially for a woman. Um, it's just a bad area for her to have to walk through by herself. So we have planned and mapped out multiple different routes. Um, and on these routes I will be traveling towards her and she knows where to set up and wait. She knows where to go if that location's gotten hot and that way I know when I get closer and closer I'll be checking these spots for her. Uh, that way I can meet her as close as I can. Now there are plans where she stays put till I get there. But, you know, situations always change. You never know what's going to happen. So maybe she can't stay there at her job site if grid goes down. Maybe everything goes stupid really fast and she's got to get away from there. Well, we have plans for that too. And it all integrates into our same routes that we have planned and hold up spots while the other person's coming. Uh, but hopefully we are both together when things happen. It will make it a lot easier. Um, she knows that if I am out and about and she's here at the house, if things go down, she is to stay put. Okay? We do have a group here. They all know the drill. She does not go look for me. But it, and that has nothing to do with women versus men, things like that. That has to do with the amount of training I have done, the survival skills I hold. So it makes more sense for her to stay here for the protection of the group than walking out towards downtown Orlando wondering where I'm at. Because even though we do have routes planned, um, I'm real quick to change my plans, okay? Not willy-nilly on changing plans. I already have other areas plotted out as far as if this didn't work, well, what would I do then? So it's just easier for me just to change my plans. I'm trying to get back home as far as routes. You know, she knows I'm good. She knows that I'll be just fine unless, of course, I get my ass shot. Um, hey, that's a possibility too. You can be the baddest SOB out there. You could be a, one of the top-notch survivalists, but some freaking dude gets a jump on you. You know, it can happen. But anyway, so that was uh, the video on our get home bag. Anyway, uh, like I did mention, I did the video where I was burning the toilet paper square. Now that's it. Just a single sheet 
actually I think these are double quilted I think maybe <laughs> I really don't know um, this one here doesn't have the Vaseline on basically just use it's a dollar store Vaseline and I'll get it and I'll put this thing down on a, a plate and I'll just smear it on flip it over smear it keep stacking them now I have used in the past don't let my wife know that I have her makeup pads but uh I have used these cotton pads these work really well I found the best thing with these is to shred them a little bit before you put the uh, Vaseline on them and you know what you don't even have to make these if you don't want to I've just found out that it works really well for me um, especially the time of year I, I mean yeah it gets really freaking hot here in Florida and sometimes it dries wood out you know pretty good it's just the humidity here sometimes hard to get things to burn when you need it to so having a catalyst is a good idea all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and stop this. I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. It is Sunday. Um, just wanted to get a quick video out to y'all. Um, like I said, that bag is always in the car. I do flush out that water once a week uh, just because the heat here. I don't know. I, I just don't want to take any chance of you know having our water getting funky when we need it, so I'm always changing it out. Uh, Anyway, uh, put in comments what you've got set up in your uh, vehicle get home bags. You know, like I said, it's not a bug out bag, it's just to get home on. So definitely put your comments in. You know, um, I want to know if you got suggestions, ideas, hey, put them in. I like hearing from y'all, I really do. Uh, so I'm going to let y'all go and catch y'all later.